Question 1. What is visual force, and what role does it play in Salesforce? Salesforce's visual force framework enables programmers to create unique user interfaces. It's a tag-based markup language, similar to HTML, that works with Apex to create dynamic, data-driven pages and components. Question 2. How do Visual Force and Apex work together? Apex and Visual Force work hand-in-hand -in, -hand in Salesforce. Apex handles the business logic and data manipulation, while Visual Force is responsible for the presentation layer. You could say that Visual Force is the face of Apex. It allows the data and processes defined in Apex to be interacted with in a user-friendly way. Question 3. Can you describe some common Visual Force components? Developers can utilize Visual Force components to build bespoke pages because they are pre-made user interface elements. For example, Apex, Pager represents a Visual Force page. Apex, Form is used to create forms, Apex. Input field allows for user input, and Apex, Output text displays text. Question 4. How does Visual Force contribute to custom UI development in Salesforce? Salesforce's Visual Force makes it simple to build custom and unique user interfaces. With its extensive library of pre-built components and its integration with Apex, developers can quickly create custom pages, components, and applications that perfectly match their requirements. Question 5. Why is Visual Force preferred for building custom interfaces in Salesforce? Visual Force allows developers to go beyond the standard Salesforce UI, enabling them to create custom pages that better reflect their brand and meet their specific business needs. Question 6. What relationship does there have between Visual Force pages and Apex controllers? Visual Force Pages and Apex controllers work together in Salesforce's MVC architecture. The Visual Force page, the view, interacts with the user, while the Apex controller, the controller, handles the business logic and interacts with the database. Question 7. How is user interaction and data presentation handled by Visual Force? Visual Force handles data presentation through its extensive library of UI components. As for user interaction, it integrates with Apex to handle form submissions, navigation, and data updates. Question 8. What difficulties might you run into when utilizing Visual Force? Some challenges include dealing with Visual Force's tag-based syntax, if you're unfamiliar with it managing the state in a stateless environment, and ensuring good performance when working with large amounts of data. Question 9. Give an example of a challenging Visual Force page you've made. For instance, I once made a custom Visual Force page for a client that included a multi-step form with a conditional rendering of fields based on previous inputs. This involved extensive use of Apex to handle the complex business logic. Question 10. How do you ensure Visual Force pages are performant and user-friendly? Some ways to ensure this include minimizing the amount of data being transferred, using pagination for large data sets, and following best practices for responsive design so pages look and function well on any device. Question 11. The Salesforce Lightning Component Framework. What is it? A contemporary UI framework for creating dynamic, responsive web apps for desktop and mobile platforms is the Salesforce Lightning Component Framework. It enables developers to create reusable components using HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Question 12. How is a Lightning Component structured? 
A Lightning Component Bundle consists of several resources. A component file for the markup, a controller file with client, side JavaScript logic, a helper file for shared JavaScript functions, a style file for CSS and optional documentation, design and SEVG files. Question 13. Why are Lightning Components important in Salesforce development? Lightning Components allow developers to build modern, responsive, and dynamic interfaces on the Salesforce platform. They make it possible to build unique components that may be applied to various applications, speeding up development and improving maintainability. Question 14. How do Lightning Components enhance the user experience in Salesforce? Lightning Components enable a responsive and dynamic user interface, making Salesforce applications more interactive. This leads to a more engaging, intuitive user experience. Question 15. How does the Lightning Component framework support the development of mobile apps? The Lightning Component framework is designed with a mobile-first approach. It provides tools and extensions for creating mobile apps with responsive design and modern UI elements, ensuring a consistent user experience across all devices. Question 16. Can you give an example of a situation where using Lightning components would be preferable to Visual Force? For a project requiring a highly interactive and responsive interface, especially on mobile devices, I would choose Lightning Components. They offer better performance and are more aligned with modern web development practices. Question 17. How can Lightning Components interact with Apex and Salesforce? Lightning Components can interact with Apex to execute server-side logic. For example, a Lightning Component can call an Apex controller method to retrieve data or perform actions in the Salesforce database. Question 18. What are some challenges faced while working with the Lightning Component Framework? Some common challenges include handling JavaScript's asynchronous nature, ensuring compatibility across different browsers, and optimizing component performance when working with large volumes of data. Question 19. Can you explain what SOQL and SOSL are? The languages SOSL and QL, Salesforce Object Query Language and Salesforce Object Search Language, respectively, are used to create queries to extract data from Salesforce. SOSL retrieves specific fields and records, whereas SOQL is used for text-based searches across multiple objects. Question 20. SOSL versus SOQL explain. SOQL is great for detailed, field-level queries, while SOSL is better for broad text searches. SOQL can retrieve related object data through related object data through relationship queries, but SOSL cannot. Question 21. How does Salesforce use SOQL and SOSL? Salesforce uses SOQL and SOSL to retrieve data from its database. This data can then be displayed to users, used in calculations, or used to trigger business processes. Question 22. What criteria would you use to decide whether to use SOSL or SOQL in a certain situation? If I need to retrieve specific fields or related records, I will use SOQL. If I need to perform a text search across multiple objects or areas, I will use SOSL. Question 23. The WHERE clause in SOQL serves what function? The WHERE clause in SOQL filters results based on specific conditions. It helps to retrieve only those records that meet certain criteria. Question 24. Can you explain how to use SOKL's relationship queries? 
Relationship queries in SOQL let you retrieve data from related records. For example, if you wanted to retrieve the names of all contacts associated with a certain account, you could use a relationship query. Question 25. How would you write a SOSL query to search across multiple objects? SOSL query that searches across multiple objects could look like this. Find John Doe in all fields returning account. ID, name, contact, first name, last name, email, leaded ID, name, email. This would return any accounts, contacts, or leads where John Doe's appears in any field. Question 26. What are the SOSL and SOQL restrictions? Both SOQL and SOSL have governor limits to prevent excessive resource usage. SOQL is limited to returning 50,000 records in a single query. SOSL can search a maximum of 2,000 records at a time. We hope this video has provided you with the valuable insights and help you in the interview preparation. If you found this video useful, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such useful content.